Thanks, newbie. Go into the front door. So this is the entrance hall. Um, and on a wedding day, we, our florists, would do two large floral displays on the two tables here. Um, the fire is always set ready to go, so if you're having a winter wedding, um, or even in the, you know, the good old British summer, if, um, if the weather is uh, not in our favour, we can definitely have the fire ready, set ready to go. Um, the organ over here does work. We do have to get an organist from the cathedral, from Ripon Cathedral, just because it's really hard work to actually make it play. It's a foot pump. There's one down um, just in front of the keys and one at the side. So this is room, the entrance hall, generally is used for we have meet your guests and um, take presents, cards, depending how you use newbie. If you have your ceremony here, um, might be where the groom's having buttonholes put on, meeting guests pre-ceremony, and then all the guests would go in um, to the ceremony room and the bride would arrive. Um, nice and private with a bridesmaid, sort the dress out before walking through to meet the registrars. Um, if it's a ceremony to church elsewhere or the church in the estate, then it would be um, reception drinks um, into the house. So guests would arrive, and this is just more of a glamorous corridor really. Um, the guests um, might drop off coats here or presents, gifts, like I said, and then walk straight through for drinks reception. Okay. This is the ante room or the bottom of the staircase. Fabulous for photographs, bride coming down the stairs um, uh, with her bridesmaids or bride and groom after the ceremony. Um, nice and kind of bright with the big windows um, so all of this you can use for your guests to, to walk through and um, enjoy for photographs um, and i will take you into the tapestry room so this room it feels quite dark at the moment just because all the um the shutters are open the blinds are down purely to um to kind of um preserve the tapestries they're all original and they're all original chippendale furniture now, when you get married here, um, this is where, if you wish to, go with tradition and tradition, meet the registrars individually. This would happen in here. And then the couple can come in for photographs afterwards. Um, there's no food or drink allowed in this room for obvious reasons. Um, so it's generally just the, the bride and groom that would have pictures in here afterwards. Um, now, we don't charge per room, so this room is available. Um, so if it's a gorgeous day like today, a bit windy, but gorgeous and sunny, you'd probably want to be outside for your photographs, but if not, you have got this room. There's no extra charge to have it. And even if you're not getting married here, you can still use this room for photographs. But like I said, it's generally just the bride and groom. We can't move the furniture because like I said, it's all original, um, but you are very welcome to stand amongst it. We can bring in modern chairs for you to sit so it looks like you're sitting on the original furniture. Okay, and we'll go this way. From the ante room, you would then come through to the library. Okay, so this is the library. Um, the main use of this room is our main licensed um, room for the ceremony. The capacity is 120 seated. We can do 130. It gets a little bit warm and a little bit tight, but we have done it. Um, so all the furniture comes out, everything that's on the rug and the rug comes out. We store it elsewhere and all the chairs facing that way. The desk there becomes the registrar's table placed um, in between the two columns at the far end, uh, cleared of all the trinkets and, and photographs. Um, and then it's, it's free for you to have, you know, the register and um, any flowers you wish. You can see the sun's coming in this room. It's south facing, so it's gorgeous and light. Um, the middle window here, there's three windows, middle one opens up as a door. Um, so you can actually um, exit, uh, if you wish, um, after the ceremony out there. Or um, once the ceremony's finished, you might want to have that window open up as a door, let people come in and out as they please. Um,
The other use of the room is for drinks reception. So when we have larger weddings, um, we can use this room plus the next room, the statue gallery, for um, a bigger drinks reception. Um, now this room is the one we do charge extra for to clear all the furniture if you're not having it for the ceremony. Obviously for the ceremony, the furniture is all cleared. Um, but if you just want it for drinks reception, we do charge extra for it. Again, there are, the fire is always set ready to go, so it's really beautiful and cosy for, um, for winter weddings. Um, to have all the furniture out and have a lovely space in here. We can hire in um, you know, banqueting chairs, um, small coffee tables, poser tables if you wish to put in here and use. Okay, so thinking of the ceremony has happened in here and then you've got a beautiful long aisle as the bride walks in this door here and then down towards the registrar at the end. Um, it is the same length as, length as an average church aisle, so it's a really nice long aisle. And then as the couple both are married and depart, they walk up this way and uh, the double doors then I would open and lead into the statue gallery. So this is the statue gallery for obvious reasons. It stays as it is, there's no furniture to move um, or, or add in. Um, not many couples decorate it really because it kind of speaks for itself. Um, we've had a few just put some flowers in here or a big large arrangement in the middle zone, but once you've got your 120, 130 guests um, post ceremony, it fills up. So um, it's great you can hear it echoing at the moment because it's only myself and Tilly in here. Um, but when you get more than 10 people, the echo disappears. You don't hear the clunky heels and ladies' stilettos on the floor. But equally, it carries music really well. So if you've got a string quartet or singers, um, or even if you just bring an iPod um, you know, and some speakers, it projects the music around the room. And again, south facing, so it's nice and light with all the windows and the sun coming in. A great for photographs. Pictures always look amazing in here. If you just come up to the dome. Really lovely. And um, guests are always fascinated by this room and love kind of being in it. And then your wedding guests, um, are, I'm going to take you outside onto the South Terrace, but they've got the library, the statue gallery, the ante room, the entrance hall, just to wander freely as they wish. Guest toilets are halfway up the stairs, um, which we'll go and do in the second part of the video. Um, and we do have one on the ground floor for guests um, who can't manage any stairs, so disabled guests, elderly guests. I'll just open the little door to show you outside. Um, this is where main drinks reception happens because the garden is in watering things at the moment. Um, so main drinks reception is here and the benches are here. Drinks table set up um, just under the column here. Um, and then guests are just free to wander as they wish. Um, now there's 25 acres of beautiful landscape gardens. Um, won't go into today because it's too windy but um we do have a golf buggy as well so we can take you um and the bride and groom off into the gardens for photographs or you can wander off if you wish and then come back on the golf buggy and help elderly guests down to the marquee on the golf buggy uh, but generally guests stay up in this area um, you might want to bring out the garden games and have those here and then we would set them up for you um, and the average drink reception 